Grade 6 Math, number 1.8. Evaluate algebraic expressions. Remember, an algebraic expression is a math phrase that includes at least one variable. So 5x is an algebraic expression just by itself. It doesn't need, you know, plus 3 or anything like that. 5x by itself is considered one. A variable is an alphabetical letter that stands for an unknown number. So instead of like in first grade when we did blank plus 3 equals 5, now you're more grown up, like adults, we do x plus 3 equals 5. That's the algebra way. All right. So to evaluate, an algebraic expression means to find the value of. We figure out what the variables stand for and follow the order of operations. Emma is saving up to buy a bicycle that costs $140. She starts with $30 from her birthday and each week saves $20 from her lawn mowing business. How much will Emma have saved in six weeks? So weeks is going to e equal W. That's a good variable to use for weeks, isn't it? Yeah, a W for weeks. That's going to equal the six because that's what we've got here. And we're going to do the $30 of her birthday money plus the $20 for each week. So we're going to, that's going to be multiplication. So 30 plus 20 times 6, because W equals 6. So we do in parentheses first, 20 times 6 is 120. We add the 30, and we have $150. So Emma will have $150 in six weeks, which is definitely enough to buy the bicycle. So we can make a table to figure out her savings each week. So what if there was a bicycle for $225? And at six weeks, she had 150 saved. We could make a table to figure out how many weeks it'll take for her to get to the 225 or to keep track of what her savings are. So the table will have a number of weeks coming down here. Here's the six that we know she has. Then there's seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the value of the 30 plus 20W, see? The 30 plus 20W, and then her amount saved. And then each week, it'll match the number that we're multiplying by the 20. See? Because it stood for weeks. So after we fill out the entire table, we'll see at 10 weeks she'll have $230. And that's enough for the more expensive bicycle. So she can buy the bicycle for $150 in six weeks or wait four more weeks to save enough for the more expensive bike. Right? Maybe it's got better features to it or it's fancier. All right. To evaluate the expression for the given value of the variable, if we have 3 times a minus 6 divided by 2 and a equals 10, we replace the variable a with the 10 first. See? 10 minus 6 instead of a minus 6. And then we remember the PEMDAS, the order of operations, and do the operations in parentheses first. So we've got 10 minus 6, which is 4, then we multiply and divide from left to right. We've got 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So please remember parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or whatever you come up with to help you remember it, okay? If we've got 2 times b squared plus 3 and b equals 5, we do in the parentheses first. We do the exponent in the parentheses first. So we're going to do 5 times 5. Because remember, it doesn't mean to multiply the 5 times 2. The square means to multiply the 5 to itself that many times. If it was a little 3, it would say 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, so it's how many times you multiply it to itself. All right, not to that exponent. So we've got 5 to the second power plus 3. Now we need to do the exponent, so we've got 25, 5 times 5, plus the 3, that gives us 28. Now we can multiply it by 2 and get 56. What if it said that a equals 4 and b equals 5? Well, we plug it in so that these numbers are in the expression, and we've got, instead of 6a, we've got 6 times 4, and instead of 2b, we've got 2 times 5. We do them and add them together, 
we've got 24 plus 10 equals 34. All right? So remember, a numerical expression only will have numbers and operation symbols like a plus, minus, multiply, divide, parentheses. That's a numerical expression. It becomes an algebraic expression when it's got one variable in it. That's the difference between the two. They're pretty much the same thing, except the algebraic ones will have a letter of the alphabet in it, a variable, all right? And remember your order of operations, all right? And then the last thing I want to talk to you about is, this is really important, because I know a lot of kids get really confused later on when they're doing algebra, and they don't understand the answer that they're getting. Sometimes we will evaluate, evaluate an algebraic expression, and the answer will have variables. And that's it. This is, this is the answer. It doesn't change anything more than that. And they'll think, what am I doing wrong? How come I can't find out what y is? Well, it's because the answer is 5y. If you have 10y and you divide it in half, you're going to have 5y, okay? It's things like that, all right? So, sometimes the algebraic expression will have variables in the answer and don't get upset about it, okay? They're supposed to be there sometimes. We'll talk about that more in the future, though. So now you know how to do them, how to write them, how to solve them. Just please, please remember the difference between numerical expressions and algebraic ones, and remember your order of operations, okay? See you next video. Keep plugging. You're doing great. Bye.